Yeah, stay high though. Stay a little right. There's a cinder block on the left, so. Go over the cinder block. Dude, I do. <laughs> Better cut, boy. No, now man. try to go the other way. Okay. No Nuck. balls. Knock if you cut, boy. No balls. No balls. Why do you think I wanted to build this thing? You don't think we can make it? No, I think you got it. Come it's on. just a hard to like turn. Yeah, you got I'm it. I'm just gonna whale it. They left. You don't want to get close to this. Go really left. Oh, <laughs> I want you to go, go up that. This? Yeah, go up it or down it. Try to go down it. I'll go up it. No, that's pussy what you're going up. Oh, you're going to hit that tree. Oh, I don't think you want to do what you're about to do. Really? No. I'm ready. Well, I want you to oh, do I'm it. I'm ready. It's good. No, really? I don't know. No, I'm do nervous. It. Dude, now I'm nervous. Dude, who gives a shit? Stop! You're an asshole. We're don't about be a to pussy. <gasps> oh! 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 You better get them. That was terrifying. Go, go, go! This is ours. <laughs> go! Misfire's killing. Watch out for the arbor vitae. <laughs> you build a fucking plant. I almost just. Oh, that was terrifying. I thought you were flipping. <laughs> no, it's pretty hard to flip a vehicle. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Chris Rennick here. And today, today is a very special day because you know what? I woke up at 9 in the morning. Like, look at this. It's daytime. We got a whole day ahead of us, and I'm I'm very ready for the day. So the first thing I'm going to have to do today is I need to go to Logan Steel in Torrington because I actually forgot some components of the valve cover for the Miata, so I'm not able to put it on. But let's get to Logan Steel. Legit took under a minute to get here from my house, which is super nice. Let's go get the parts. So we got the parts right here. Now, we need to go to the shop. I need to surprise Mike because he's going to be very surprised that I'm up and at the shop right now because usually I don't get to the shop until like 5, 6, and I'm about to get there for like 10.30. It's going to be funny. So I'm sitting in the Duncan parking lot right now, and I was already just on the phone with People's Bank for the past 30 minutes because every week they shut my card off because, God forbid, it gets stolen or... I, I make a wrong purchase and they're like, yeah, you can't use your card anymore and I don't carry cash. So I wanted to get some food and I need to go to Advanced Auto to get a couple things. And they're like, yeah, Chris, after 40 minutes verifying it's you doing all this stuff, your card's good to go. It's great. I'm like, great. I'm tired. I can get a coffee. I can wake up and I can keep going about my day. Now I look like an asshole because I ordered some food and coffee. My card got declined. I don't have any money in my pocket, so I had no choice but to leave. And now I'm on the phone with him again. I'm going through the whole steps again, so I'm going to be sitting in this fucking parking lot for 30 minutes. I'm not. I'm done with Peoples. I'm not using them anymore. Do not use Peoples if, yeah, like... Man, I was going to buy you your coffee. Yeah, it's all right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But I'm literally just about to leave this bank because it's junk. That I've had nothing but problems and literally every week I need to talk to him for at least an hour and ex like explain myself it's so annoying my rant's over Let's see if this works thank you oh my god it worked thank you very much well I got it. Now I can actually start my day. Now I'm a half an hour behind because, you know, People's Bank is awesome to work with. Great customer service and they'll get your car turned on right away. Let's go to Advanced Auto Zone. I had to stop at Advanced Auto Zone first before I go to the shop because I need to grab some stuff to pull the valves out so I can put the valve seals in. There's a long piece. What the hell is this? What? Yeah, we're here. Alright, got all this stuff, I'm ready to go. Thank you, peoples. And this thing's still running. I checked um, 
this morning if it was leaking and there was no oil on the ground so that's sick i guess we're good to go with this this is sick i hope my wide angle picks this up good old bmw getting stuck on a curb what an asshole god damn it mick hey on the phone. What's he doing? All right, so we just got to the shop. It's now 11:30. I did wake up for nine, which is pretty good for going to bed at 4:30. Wasn't that bad? Did a good job. But um, I'm gonna try to get on this schedule because I like it a lot better. I can get a lot more done, and my goal today is to get this whole motor assembled and everything ready. So, I mean, even maybe tonight I can start pulling the Roadster motor and I can start taking the turbo stuff off and I can start putting it onto this, freshen it all up so it can actually start going back into the car. But right now I'm gonna take the cams out. Um, I already took these bolts out right here, which is perfect because these are actually the starter bolts because you want to go from the outside in because if you go from the inside to out you can like create warpage and stuff and you don't really want that so let's get to business okay then now this should just come up oh sick all right well the first one's out First time I've done that and actually I'm gonna put it back in <laughs> because I've done this before and just never had to put them back in so now I gotta figure out how to use this tool. Sweet. I uh, see so you can see the keepers right there. Those mm -hmm. are the things I was talking about. That's what you're after. Oh yeah so when you like push it down it, it will spread out. Exactly. And then you, I can just grab it with yep. the magnet. Yep just grab them with the magnet let go of the spring. Well, now isn't know, that annoying gently. to like kind of put it back in or no? Yeah. It is? Yep. Yep, you gotta be super careful. There's like grooves in the top of the valve stem, mm -hmm. and those have to sit in there perfectly. Oh, perfect. Yep. <laughs> so, I've been to about 20 stores today, and you know, I was planning on having all the valves done and all the valve seals done by now, and I barely got even started because I don't have the tool to actually do it, so therefore I have to make one. Um, we got a C-clamp right there, a nice big one. We got some PVC pipe that we're just gonna use for like pushing down the actual spring. And then I'm just gonna cut two holes out right here, or one hole. And um, that's just so you can actually get the keepers out, the ones that actually like lock the um, spring into place. I can just put a magnet through this and it'll be good. So, I mean, this is my best bet. Otherwise I have to wait till tomorrow, which I'm not doing. Not the best cut in the world. A little better. All right, let's see if this homemade sp valve spring remover works. Already popped. Really? Yep. Keep going a little bit more though. Yep. So now I just grab the magnet. Just uh. Yep. Dude, I don't think it's mag. I should have bought a magnet while I was out. <laughs> yeah, this magnet's not strong enough. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, the like the oil in there might. Oh no. Be, like you know, sucking it in there pretty good. This is a vaping channel now. Hulk tears. It's pretty good. This is gonna take a lot longer. <laughs> I was expecting. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like, what's that like surgery little game? <laughs> Operation? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's twisting. I'm like scared to pull up too hard. Yeah. Just cause you don't wanna nick like this area? Yeah. yeah. That was terrifying. <laughs> okay, well, 
one out and way too many to go. 15 more. 15 more, yay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I stopped filming for a reason. Um, so the home main valve co compressor is like, it's kind of janky, but I got the hang of it. We got this one, Dom did this one, and then I did that, 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 and that, and I just have one more, so I figured I'd show you guys. This is the first side. <laughs> Been working over an hour doing this. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. It's just a little time consuming. You can't really get mad at it, because it is what it is. So, first thing I gotta do is, I try to line this up as best as I can on the valve. Make sure this thing is centered, then I have to hold it here and tighten it at the same time while making sure it's still centered because it likes to hop all over the place like that. So if we keep tightening, the nose come loose like that. Oh, see what I mean? This thing's janky. So. Yeah, it's not the best way of doing this, but for now, that's this is all I have. That's actually the first time it's happened that, of course, figured on camera, make me look like an asshole. All right, let's try this again. All right, so now I can get the keepers out. This is how I get them out like this. I put some grease on the screwdriver so like the, it sticks better because I've been having like a problem having them stick. So now that I got the keepers out, I loosen this back up. Just enough so I can get the spring out. Just go like that, then that's out. And then I grab these long needle nose pliers, uh, my electrical taped right here, just so I don't like hit the inner wall. I don't want to like scratch it or anything. And then I put them in, and I don't like this part because I always cut myself because these are so hard. Oh, that one was actually pretty easy. And then I grab a new valve stem, dip it in some oil like this, get it all lubed up. And then I take it. Grab my good old needle nose pliers, clamp it lightly around, put the valve back in because it fell out. Some of them fall out, some of them don't. And then put the new one in, listen to two clicks, and then go ahead, we put the spring back on with like the perch, whatever. Then we grab the lovely ass tool, which is the best fucking part. Not bad for homemade though. Good old Home Depot didn't let me down. Hopefully you guys got a Home Depot ad because they're my boys. All right, so I actually have to compress it a little more. What's going on? The last one. The last one? Side, yeah. Good shit. All right, so got the cam here. I have everything like in order. So we're gonna do this real quick before I forget. All right. Oh wait, you need to put the balancers in for, for the lifters. Yep. Alright, so make sure you oil these up before you put them in, or you'll just mess up. Butter. Yeah, so much better. Two more. Put the can back in, and then I just gotta do it all over again. Yeah. Oh, so one side's done? Yeah. Gotcha. Well, you thought they were both done? I did. Yeah. I wish. Heads, say something? heads aren't that bad to rebuild. Who wrote on your right hood, here, on your roof? Fucking assholes. I tell people not to. It scratched the fuck out of it. It scratched the fuck out of it. Why would they do that? It looks like girl handwriting. You're fucking idiots. It wasn't a girl? I remember who it was. I know exactly who it was. Yeah. It was a girl though? Well, someone with girl handwriting, but not a girl. Will? No. Girl handwriting. Marcus? Sean? He's girl handwriting? Yeah. Okay, well, this side's done. I just have to torque this. Um, I don't know the torque spec, so 
Mike's gonna find out right now. Sure. Oh, I can't believe I gotta do this again. All right, so one side is completely done. I haven't torqued it down yet because this one, it was this one right here. This one? Yeah. This one goes like one, two, three, four. And like, I know I don't have to do it that way because I, these aren't like really together, but the picture's right there. It just makes more sense just to follow it. So I'm gonna wait to torque these down. Um, I'm gonna do this whole side first. Uh, I have to take these two bolts off and the bolt right here. And yes, I know that's gonna mess up the timing, but that's all right for now. And then I'm just gonna go from the outside in, take the cam out, replace, the valve stems and then put it all back together and when i do that i will start filming again it will probably be dark out can't wait well i'm a happy camper so after a long 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 six days long time all these valve seals are in with just this And just this. I hate this thing, dude. Just looking at this just pisses me off. But they're in. That's all that matters. I'm going to go ahead and put the lifters on. Put the cam back on. I have everything in order right here. I actually have to flip this so I don't forget. So, yeah, if you're going to do valve seals, I recommend just ordering the right tool. Don't go to advanced because they don't have the right one. Or AutoZone. Or Harbor Freight. Or Harbor Freight. Or mm -hmm. Levine's. Mm -hmm. Or Walmart. None of them. None of them fucking have it. Trust me, I've checked. So, arrows face this way. And right there. Woo! The head's about to be back together. I'm so excited. Just so we can put it on the block and do the water pump and do the cam gears and do the time and... Oh, Water pump and timing belt came in, so that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. So if this doesn't start, someone remind me in the comments that I have to adjust this. You know, if I was smart, I would have marked it beforehand. You can actually kind of see the where the washer was. It's like right there. She's gonna start right up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I said with mine too. Did it start right up? No. All right, so we're gonna do this a couple times just to make sure that we get no warpage here. So this is one, according to the computer screen. So I'm just gonna let this get a little snug like that. We're gonna go two, let it get a little snug. Three, let it get a little snug. All right, so I just went around it once. I'm gonna go around it again and start to um, get rid of this gap right here. But we're not gonna film that because you guys just saw the order and it's kind of boring. Just all right, so eight foot pounds because what was the? It was like a hundred yeah, inches for. But something. we just converted it and it was eight foot pounds because I don't have the other one. So here we go. That's a lot. I don't like it. This is a lot, dude. There's no way. I don't want to go anymore. That's fucking scary. Oh my god. That was so agonizing. Well, never trust Harbor Freight. You know, they said it was eight foot pounds. It felt like it was way more. And turns out it was because I went I was tightening the last one. And it ended up snapping right in there. Instantly just got super pissed. We went to Subway, sat there for like an hour, almost fell asleep. And then we came back, took that jur journal off, whatever you call it. And we actually got it out with a uh, Dunkin' Donuts straw. We did try to use flex tape because, you know, we tried to support Phil Swift, but he sucks anyways. So that, that did not work. It didn't work. But Dunkin' Donuts, it's better than flex tape. The straws are literally better than flex tape. So Sponsored? I don't know what I'm going to be doing because now I need another bolt. And it's not like I have like a Miata motor laying around. I got rid of the junk one. So I don't even, I can't even take a bolt out of there. So I'm kind of like shafted. I don't, I only have one bolt for this. So until I figure out what's going on, we'll be back.
Oh, 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 oh,